Okay, folks, good good evening, good morning, wherever you're coming from. I'm going to give you a little update on the mini blinds. I am working on them, but I bought a pallet today from Lowe's, and uh, I'm going to break it down. I got to unload the truck first here, and then I'm, I'm still using this storage um, that I've done with the mini blinds. And you can see I've cleaned about one third of them out. But let's get this unloaded and then I'll talk a little bit more about a mini blind update. The pallet that I have to unload, you know, and sometimes, you know, when people get them shipped to a place, they could put them down on the ground and kind of, but obviously you could see a lot of the stuff already. It's not hidden by cardboard, but I'm unloading it into my unit here and I have to put it on the pallet because I'm taking blinds out to take up home to my garage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this stuff off and I gotta transfer that to that. But I want to show you exactly what I got. I'll go over the manifest with you. And I got to get my chest mount uh, on for the GoPro. And uh, we'll, we'll kind of walk you through and tell you what I got. Okay, here we go. Got it mounted up. Let's go. And show you what we got. Mess the plastic off first here. Now the this this pallet was considered this came from Lowe's. So this is actually my first pallet buying from Lowe's. This was considered all returns. So you know you never know what you're gonna get. What I'll do above is I'll put what the MSRP is and basically what should match. The manifest I got, I'm not going to open them up but um, right now because time is of the essence. I need to get this stuff done and unload it because I'm, i got to load up the mini binds. But the first thing we got is a Hunter fan. Now, some, things, some of these things I have to sell locally. Some of this stuff. If it's small enough, and this is what, so it seems like I got a bunch of ceiling fans here, but good ceiling fans should do okay. So let me get this stuff actually down to the edge of the truck and I'll come back. This way I'm not banging around the GoPro. I know it's actually with some of these items and what I did is, it, and it be, what, what you need to do, especially when you're doing it by yourself is, kind of put stacks them on the edge and then put some on the pallet and you can't really film that with because your kind of stuff is hitting your body and you know I don't want to bust up the you know almost $500 GoPro but what I noticed this is basically this is a mixture of returns and shelf pulls because these appear to be like they had them in storage these were the fans and they probably had them somewhere that got some moisture damage so nothing wrong with the fans more so the box and um there's a cabinet i got now look at this look at this level you look at it from a distance i thought it was fine and someone must have ran over it <clears throat> or i don't know but they, it got bent the hell out of i don't know what mdte means but uh oh right here you can see the curve look at the curve on that man so it'd be good on a, on a flat let's see is it level here Let's see, can we, is that level? No, that's not level. Of course, the pallet could be, the floor could be slanted. The floor could be slanted so that no water runs into the storage unit. So we can't even go by that, but um, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's level that way. Because the bubble's in the middle. 
See the, I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, but someone whacked the hell out of this thing uh, and bent it all to hell. So it's not going to be uh, that accurate, but oh well, I'll keep that around my house. Um, so every time stuff is not right, we can just say blame Pat Deez's level. But um, that Harbor Breeze <coughs> um, ceiling fan there. Now let me. Uh, I have the. Do I have the manifest with me? I do. Okay. So here was the manifest, basically, what they're saying. They said the, the three-speed box fans, those would retail for $24.99. I'm supposed to have seven of them. That's right, because there's three more in the truck, so seven. So really, even at, you know, honestly, I'm going to take them out, and I might be able to just put them in another box and sell them local for about $15. So that's all right. Because what I do is I could print a picture, put it on a box. Uh, $23 for the heavy beam uh, level. Obviously, it's not worth that no more. Um, the ceiling fans, Coastal Creek, that b middle one, they're saying was worth $85. Hunter, Cordentino, I don't see that one yet. So there must be another one up in there. Oh, these people drive like nuts. Um, this is what I'm interested in. I thought, man, look at this. A garbage disposal, right? I open up the box here. New in the box. Look at that. There's nothing wrong with it. Maybe they, a person picked it up or couldn't open it up and couldn't put it in their cabinet. But... Um, $289 brand new. Honestly, I, if I get 200 bucks for that, I should do pretty good. Yeah, I'll do I'll do very well because um, I have $150 into this whole pallet. And the reason I bought this pallet was because of the tub. And um, let me put this over here on the pallet real quick. So because of that tub. What happened was, and I'm going to show you a picture above, I bought a tub and shop vac from Lowe's, and when I went to pick it up, it had a big chunk out of it, and I still don't have credit for it, but I'm working on it, and they're supposed to give me credit for it, because I didn't take it. You could clearly see it was just a tub, and, and they, they agreed, but they haven't processed. So supposedly today, they gave me a piece of paper, and it should be processed pretty soon. So I had paid like $60 for that tub, and shop vac so i was bidding on this pallet and this one was from lowe's the other one was from home depot and i came across this one this one is a porcelain covered metal so this this is a strong uh the only difference is it's a, it's a left drain the other one was a right drain but that don't matter because there's enough uh, room underneath to write the drain so i picked up this tub because i'm trying to help my son with his house we're going to in the spring remodel and i'm trying to show him how to save two thousand dollars by buying uh we bought a vanity we brought a sink we bought a toilet and now the tub so i'm showing him how i'm saving him two thousand dollars instead of doing the bathroom over and spending close to five thousand we should be able to uh cut that right in half so that that's the plan and um this was the other this was the weed whacker i got but i did see on the slip this was a craftsman craftsman weed whacker says it's worth uh craftsman weed whacker huh, where is that on there oh is that an extra oh no string trimmer yeah 159 dollars but you know that's where a lot of people too are wrong they'll use the stuff three four times and they don't use it properly and then right away they want to return it but um if it's a matter of just replacing a, a um the motors down in there might be good um sometimes even just getting apart i don't know it, does, it it barely looks used now again sometimes some people buy them that don't know how to even work work stuff and oh let's return it so all right let me get the other stuff unloaded and then i'll talk a little bit over that and uh guys i do appreciate you supporting the channel i've been doing a lot more pallet videos lately um it's a lot of work, but I actually enjoy the treasure hunt of seeing what you get on these pallets. 
and um, it's fun. So give me a thumbs up, thumbs up, and um, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you nothing. So I'm I'm the one that puts money out for the pallets. So you just, you you get to enjoy what I'm what I'm doing too. So far the mini blinds. In case you guys are wondering or new, having what's he talking about these mini blind, uh, which I call the mini blind update. Down below in the comments, my first comment, I'll have the the link to the video of the forty one thousand dollars worth of mini blinds. But I wanted to show you real quick. Again, we had the fans. We had the two vanity tops. We have this nice uh, steel tub that we got in here. And um, this hood, but it's no good. It's bent up here, so can't even put a value on that. Um, the weed whacker, the trimmer. And uh, so three ceiling fans. The Oh, put that. Josh, take that garbage grinder home. I'm going to list that on eBay. Get that list up there right away. And um, the fans. So that's going to be a wrap for today because I got to actually get up and unload. My truck is full now with the mini blinds that I unloaded here. And I got to get them unloaded and uh, get the U-Haul truck back and call it a day. But they're still... Honestly, between running that up, running back, unloading, and running the U-Haul, it's still about three more hours worth of work. So I show you the good, the bad, and sometimes even the ugly with doing these uh, pallets. So, all right, guys, hope you liked this video. If you do me a favor and give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Pat D's, and I'll see you again.